my god, excuse me. I got like a big clump of crap in my throat. Okay, we have Omnimon with us now. Interesting. We just have Omnimon. Okay. This seems like it might be a scary fight. I'm gonna try for Venom Trap. See if that works. No, block. Okay. Uh, also, we have three things we're attacking. We're attacking this, this, and this. Uh, it's one's water, fire, and grass. So, uh, let me actually attack field charge just so I can get Omnimon to have some increased attack as well. And he's gonna increase chain. Okay, I'm good with that. He's increasing his mental stuff, which is horrifying to me. But I'm going to go for the middle, I guess, with Pip. That did a lot, okay. Rune Forest 3, yeah, no one's taking too much damage from that. Okay. I'm ready for this, I think. I think, honestly, maybe I should target one hand at a time. But then again, I could, I'm gonna, okay, we can take down that grass one at, uh, with like Pip in them. So we'll, we'll focus each with our specialties because we have a fire and water attack or fire and grass attack and uh then we can just go as we go nobody's getting hit with super effective moves at the moment except lorelei it looked like there oh if we had freaking angel Mon. uh you want this a triple threat. There we go. We took down one. Do I want to... Okay, I'll wait till her next turn to final aura. Because I do think we kind of need healing, especially her. But I want to just wait a bit. Also, I don't know how long this is going to be, so if I don't do, a, like, a perfect intro, that's probably meaning I kept going thinking that it was going to end soon, and it didn't. <laughs> just, just for heads up. Okay, we took down the center. And now all that's left is the uh, left hand. Pip is definitely just a cannon right now. Uh, I'm just gonna go keep going for Omni Sword. Yeah, I kind of was wanting Omnimon and Glory to team up with their swords. Let's go. Look at that. That's sick. Transcendent Sword! Huh? Okay. I see you. I see you, big dog. Clap hands. Ooh, knockback. <gasps> he knew that Jack needed to be in this. Okay, wait. Lorelai, I love you, but this is the perfect ending, I think. No. What's happening? No. There we go. This is the perfect ending. This is the perfect team to finish it off. The three main stakes of our team. Our starter, our strongest, 
and also the cannon known as Pip. Let's go! No XP from this battle, let's go! He knew, he, he knew that we needed to... Whoa! <laughs> I know the eaters, they're weak, aren't they? My strength alone wasn't enough to stop you, but this time I have my friends and I will win. We have all three of them with us! Oh, this is the perfect ending! I can stop you. Everyone, now! Oh no, <laughs> I have a level 20 on, on the screen. Yeah, it's probably gonna kill. It might kill someone. Okay, we might have to swap some people back in. Oh no, Jack! Okay, uh... We're gonna mental charge Pip back and switch back the team. <laughs> okay, we had a cool- we had a cool moment, guys, but we have to switch back. We have to switch back to people who can actually fight right now. Uh... Yeah, okay. Oh, destruction cannon on glory? No, okay. Okay, cool. We can definitely phantom pain. Oh, this is vaccine, right? Okay. This would be super effective because it's data type. Oh, nice. It's gonna heal, isn't it? Oh, just healed that one, okay. I need to. Okay, Pip's gonna die. <clears throat> there we go. I was so hyped for that being the ending, and then it wasn't, and I was like, oh, okay, wait, no, we have to continue going. <laughs> uh, attack charge field. Stop. Stop! Supreme Cannon to finish off the Dark Wing. Didn't even finish it off. Wow. Omimon Loki trash. Uh. Yeah, let's do this. Because this isn't. Doesn't this pierce, like, armor or whatever? Yeah, there we go. Not just not just uh, not just Pip is one shot and almost. We got Omni Sword. This is probably not gonna do as much yet. Nightmare, you. That didn't kill. Interesting. Okay, I guess we only do damage enough to it. Okay. We never truly finish it off. We have to just stop the program. I'm fine with that. Glory and Pip, let's go. If this is the finale, uh, or at all, leave names, name ideas, any sort of name uh, in the comments below for Hacker's Memory whenever we get to that. I want to finish off Blue Lions uh, in Fire Emblem before we do Hacker's Memory, so hopefully that's okay with you guys, because we kind of just left Blue Lions hanging, but uh, we'll see. If you guys really want it, though, I'll definitely make it a priority if people are like, I definitely want this a lot more than anything else. Always leave what you want in the comments, and I'll try my best to do what I can. But I will also leave my priorities in check and do things that I find enjoying. And, and you know, basically what I say every episode, ever. We got this, guys. Ah, oh, the triple team.
And there is a video I'm working on that may never come to fruition. Okay, there we go. We're, we're making we're making strides. We're making moves. Making million dollar moves. Um, eh, we'll just do this one because even though it's resisted, we'll still do a decent chunk at least. We're almost there. Restart. Ooh, that's not good. Okay, cool. <laughs> was the uh, maybe the core was just what we were supposed to be focusing? Excellent. But Sado is still inside the Mother Eater. What shall we do? Well, we should lock him up in here, for now. It's not a perfect solution, but for the time being, it's our best course of action. Well then, let's get help from the Royal Knights and the other Digimon. Right. We'll take care of the giant thing by ourselves. Maybe we can make it happen, but the odds are stacked against us. And I'm gonna fucking sacrifice myself, aren't I? Idiot. What are you doing? Ugh, fine. Oh, hey! Tamashi, no, you're not going to! You idiot! I told you not to! Sudo says your body can't take it, does didn't he? Alpha man! <laughs> Alpha man! Alpha man! Alpha mon! Stop, Tomashi! We've got to do something, M Miss Koyoko! Go, Cyber Sleuth! Find the truth that only you can! Damn. What? What? What is Tomashi doing? I'm trying to find the truth, man. No. Oh, why? What? We said not to! Oh no. Let Tomashi dis decision. Let's see Tomashi's decision through. However, it happens to turn out. It's gonna end up turning out good, hopefully. The frame rate on these swirls is really bad. It always just irritates my eyes. We got this, baby boy. Oh. Goodness, you've come to rescue me too. You ignored my warnings and wound up in such a wreck form. Wrecked form. Such a waste of effort. I have been fully assimilated by the Mother Eater. You're not like Arata or Yuko or Yugo. What about Nokia? You'll never find me. You're wasting your time. And even if you do find me, I won't go back. I would sooner disappear than not allow my sadness to vanish from all possible worlds. I find it hard to comprehend why you could choose a world where sadness is widespread. You're the same way. In doing this, you bring sadness to Arata and the others. It's so strange. There's no logic to it. What will change if you rescue me? Will you be happier for it? Do you have satisf Do you have satisfactory answer to me for me? We don't want to leave anyone behind. But that's just your ego talking. Seriously? I made a promise. This is rather ominous. I'm confused. Even with all of King Drazzle's calculating powers, I cannot derive an answer from you. What? What's this? What? 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 Is that so? Is that what it was? It just hit me. I finally understand. God does not play dice with the universe. All of you were the dice this whole time. 
Can you bet on dice that will that have wills of their own? I see. I see. In this way, multiple universes are formed through indefinitely branching space-time. A waste meaningless without value. After all, what was defined as a function, a fluctuation, fluctuation cannot exceed the perspective of an observer. I understand awareness at a single temporal point, because realities to com causes realities to combine. Hang on, please wait a moment. Please wait a moment. P wait, that seems to be a logical leap, no? Oh my, that won't do. We can't have you disappear here now. You shall validate my new theory as one of my precious dice. I call it the theory proving the existence of a god who creates dice tossed by a god of dice. And to prove this theory, I must disappear along with the eaters. Our existence is too unique and overpowering. We will throw off the results of the equation. The eaters will simply return to their original role, to the form they should have, have had before they were corrupted by the digital world we created. A higher dimension extends over countless parallel worlds, including other, including both ours and the digital world. The eaters existed in regions we cannot and must never access. Their higher dimensions are beyond our capability or capacity to even imagine. They compromise part of a vast system that could be called the great intent of our of the works of the gods. The eaters were manifest through contact with our data in our dimension and together on its form and substance. The results were, uh, were as you would see, you have seen. Whether this effect has ha, what ha, ugh, was by chance or predestined, I cannot say. Only the god knows for sure. Even if I were to ask King Drazzle, I don't think, I don't know if King Drazzle even has a gender, but his calculations do not confirm the existence of an, any godly entities. However, his calculations are still ongoing. So, oh my god. So, you, so who knows what the ultimate answer will be? In any case, I shall require King Drazzle's help in order to reformat all the eaters that have connected to me. We cannot remove them from every dimension, nor is there any reason to do so. The possibility of a similar event reoccurring in the future is about 8,192 to the 20th power. So please, don't worry about it. If my calculations are correct, our universe, your universe will cease to exist. Therefore, that ever coming to pass... So, you can live and die free from the ears. Oh, and be born again to prove my theory. <laughs> I don't think you have a choice. You, I don't. I won't give you a choice in the matter. This is just my ego talking. I shall therefore take my leave from now on. If you are so inclined, maybe we shall meet again. Tamashi, you made it back. Tamashi made it back for reals? What the heck did you think you were doing, you jerk, you stupid jerk face? Listen, you. There's only so much crazy stuff we're letting you get away with. What were the rest of us supposed to do if you didn't make it back? But all's well that ends well, I'm still glad. <laughs> and what about Sido? It looks like he's gone. 
He complained that he didn't want to go home. He kept saying things made no sense. He, but he seemed quite satisfied. What the deal with what the deal with that? I guess that's just like him, though. Goodbye, Sido. Whoa, whoa. King Drazzle's will. King Drazzle's normal functions have resumed and seems to be restoring the digital world. Whoa, hey. Shouldn't we be leaving then? Yes, we had better get out of here. Hmm, a reasonable decision. Okay, let's move. Are you okay, Tamashi? Yep. Let's get going home. This takes me back. Yeah, it's the digital world. We saw it way back when. As we saw it way back when. Is that all the people's data coming back? It's so beautiful. What's that? It's the mental data preserved within the Eater's network. All of it? Yes. King Drazzle is sending it back to your world. And that will heal Eden Syndrome, right? Heal? That's not quite the right, right word, really. But something similar to that will occur, yes. A phenomenon you humans will call miraculous. I don't quite get it, but Yugo and Tamashu will wake up? Huh. <sighs> and therein lies the miracle. My... my brother. That... that's excellent. Well, you go. Go home. What? Huh? Ah? Uh -huh. What is that? Wait, what's going on? It's two of Dorbs. This sphere is the Eater's original form. What? Yeesh. That's how it scans moving from one piece of data to the next, sending information to higher dimensions. It has no clear objective, but I have one theory. Things like St. Elmo's fire UFOs, strange orbs, these light-emitting bodies were made temporarily visualizations of an eater in a digital wave. What we take as the plasma phenomenon could be an eater and its energy, or in its energy form, transmitting information. It fits the behavior and first-hand accounts. This mystery circle form uh, impossible to recreate. It is also one of the most advanced, or maybe low-leveled, one of the advanced or maybe low-level ideographic symbols used in this network, and... Stop! Stop! Oh. Sorry. It's nearly time for Kyoko Karim's farewell. I just wanted to feel the rush of giving an info dump one last time. What? Or maybe I'm simply reluctant to part with you. By parting, you mean... Yes, that's what I mean. King Drazzle will soon send you back to your world. In order to completely restore the digital world, we must remove all foreign objects. Ugh, we're being treated like bugs. Does King Drazzle wish to restore the digital world? To the state it was before we arrived? To the, to the day, way it was before then, eight years ago? More than that? Hang on, that means... Aw, does this mean we'll n have never met? Then that... That we're going to forget each other? Perhaps. That, that's... But in that case, we could just meet again. I'm certain everything will work out. Oh, that's sad. That's bittersweet. Yeah, right. Everything will work out. One way or another. What I mean is, we'll make it work out. Well, it seems it's almost time. We'll send you back and recall the Digimon. The door that has been opened will be closed. This is farewell, human child, human children. The world will return to the way we should be, a wide, accepting, and yet chaotic place. That's the world we live in. And the crazy, beautiful, lovable world that raised all of you, your friends. I hope the day comes when your children and us, the Digimon, can become friends once again.
And now this case is finally closed. Damn. I hate the endings of things. Thank you, Agumon. Thank you, Gabumon. Or thanks you for for you. We grow stronger. Thanks to we grow stronger. Thank you. Bye bye. We will most ass assuredly meet again. Is that King Drazzle or just a bot? <laughs> bye bye, everyone. Damn. That's sad. But my Digimon weren't from the digital world, right? They're just programs in our world. That means that I still have them. Yay! <laughs> I don't know if that's actually accurate. Pokemon, Whalemon, uh, Bergermon, Lilymon, Lopmon, no! Carmel, come back! The Royal Knights. <laughs> Fucking Nokia's cute as hell. I love her. Oh, Magnemon is hilarious. Everyone's going home. Does that mean that the world... Does that mean that the Digimon are going to be leaving our world? If so, things are going to get awful lonely. Hugo? It's okay, Yuko. My cyber form is returning to my physical body. Then, then that means... Yes. I'll have a real body after eight years. It, it will feel very heavy and confining. I'm finding. Don't worry. I'll be there to help you get with your rehabilitation. Rehabilitation. Just go easy on me, okay? See you soon. We made it. Let's go home. Our world is waiting. Let's go home. All of us together. Yay, I get to hold hands with Nokia. <gasps> Yeeted. I don't follow. Am I an eater? Whoa, what just happened? Why, what? No, you have to explain. Or did I just go back to my body? Please tell me I just went back. That's why all three of those people are my face right now. Bro. Oh my god. Wait, don't get hit by a car. A week has passed. For Tokyo, it is as if nothing had happened today. As always, it overflowed with people. Is that right, though? Perhaps it was truly nothing. It could be just our mo our memories. For everyone else, it'd be as if nothing had happened. Okay. As Arata, the self-proclaimed non-geek, says, The split axes of time have merged once again. He explained a lot, but I slept through half of it, so I don't really understand at all. But the upshot is... We have changed so much in eight years, almost as if it never happened. For us, this Tokyo is a completely new Tokyo. For example, Satoru Kirishima, Shiro, Yuko's father, he's just an ordinary man. That really surprised me. Is he alive? As president of Kamashiro Enterprises, he's out there running Eden and other operations. So wait, he's alive now? Yuko and Yugo might still be confused, but 
They should be able to lean on their dad soon. For at least a few years worth of time. Okay. And then there's Ri Kishibe, secretary to the president. They say she's deeply in love with Satoru, and Yuko and Yugo might be getting a new mom soon. Okay. Good luck, Yugo and Yuko. For example, the Eden Syndrome, the terrorist attack eight years ago in, Tok in New Tokyo. Victims of that horrible attack ended up sleeping forever in a comatose state. Until they all suddenly regained consciousness one week ago. Does that mean me? Yugo is one of the f ones who woke up. He's now in rehab, and I'm helping. Of course, no one knows why they suddenly woke up. Right now, the theories that are most that are most popular are that it was a divine miracle or maybe aliens who did it. For example, Digimon. What can we be said about Digimon? Nothing. They're both here and not here, right? Digimon capture doesn't exist anymore. Or yet? The app that's really popular on the Digivice now is the one called Digital Monster. It's sort of a retro training game, but it's like I've totally gotten into it. Agumon and Gagumon appear in the app, among others, so it's like surprising or something. What's up with this? I'm totally not getting this. Like, totally, I give up. My brain is totally broken. But, you might be able to figure it out. Oh yeah, our memories are linked to a constant reality. Akem Sudo isn't here in New Tokyo. It's as if he was never born. Interesting. There's a little tightness in my chest, but... Arata's self-proclaimed non-geek says it's good. Yoko isn't here either. I looked, but I couldn't find her. Damn. But the Korean Detective Agency is here. There were traces of Kyoko here regardless. Okay. Is Kyoko somewhere? Around somewhere? I wonder. Is it just that we can't find her? That must be it. Only a famous sleuth like you can find Kyoko. I know it. No doubt about it. And so? Please find her. Oh, did I not wake up? Hey, knock it off. With the gloomy expression, it's not like you. It's really me. Is that the face you want to pull? What would Tomashi think? I get it. I really do, but... Please, come home. Don't worry. We haven't seen the last of Tomashi. According to the doctors, all vital signs are looking great. Tomashi's gonna be fine, I promise. Yeah. Don't be an idiot. What do you think, Tomashi's wandering around Eden like a ghost somewhere? Like a certain someone we know. <laughs> uh, that was a subconscious manifestation of my brother while trapped by eaters. It was all outside of his control. We're the ones who were responsible for all this happening. Blaming my brother is, for it is, is wrong. It's not like he was it, doing it all for fun. He deserves to have the record set straight along with an apology. Whoa, why so serious all of a sudden? What? Now, now. Oh yeah, that's right. It's as Arata, the self-proclaimed non-geek, says. Huh? Are you going to gang up on my brother too, Nokia? Hey, what are you? Where are you going? Eden. 
I'm going on a little search. If I just sit and moping, sit there moping around and doing nothing, Agumon and Gabumon will laugh at me. Nokia. If there's a ghost, maybe there's someone who's seen it. And if I search Eden, I might find some data fragments there and here, here and there. Whoa, did I hit full on cyber sleuth mode just now? Okay, it's time to gather information. Come with me, assistant boy. What? Assistant boy, me? Damn, I guess I'll hang on, hang with you now, Ben. But let's be clear, I'm the cyber sleuth and you're the assistant, right? I won't give up on... Hey, are you listening to me? Man, is the story not over? This was such a perfect ending. Hey, Alphamon. It looks like you're finally woken up. I've been talking to you since I found you. I never got even the faintest response out of you. You woke up just when I was about to give up. Can you hear me? I guess I should explain the situation. Your half-cyber body collapsed after attempting that crazy connection jump. The data that, compri that comprised you just is subversed. In other words, you're a husk of your former self. How do you feel? <laughs> like a husk of my former self. Yeah, don't worry about trying to tell me. Fate just don't give up. Just, fate just don't give up on you, and neither will I. Taking on the will of King Drazzle after so long, becoming human, sleuthing, fighting my comrades. What? And I had this one assistant who kept on doing sort of crazy things. That was a handful, let me tell you. Or is she describing herself? I thought she was describing me. But thanks to you, it was a lot of fun. Thank you. I've been waiting to tell you that. Waiting for you to wake up. <laughs> what is it? Don't look, don't be bashful. What's that? What's going on, going to become of you now? As I said before, your data dispersed. Not even I can gather it back together now. You could wander around in here in your suburban estate, or, oh, that's right. You could come to the digital world. How about it? I'm about to get really busy. The Eaters were reformatted by King Drazzle, reverted back to their harmless state of being. But we still don't know much about their true nature. I summarize that their main unit is a higher dim dimension than only King Drazzle can detect. But I do plan on confirming that somehow. How about it? That's a job you're used to, right? Feeling like coming with me and being my assistant once again? Just kidding. No need to get so serious. I wanted to see you stressed out for a second. I've been affected by you humans quite a bit. That's why I understand why you do what you do. You want to help your friends. I've come to feel that way too. And it's not just me. Look and see. <gasps> no way. Oh. Oh, that's so perfect. You see? It's the same way I've been affected. Your Digimon friends have also been affected by you. And not just a few of them either. Since you've been you were basically a digital life form as it was, you might be able to guess how large your impact was. The proof lies within your these Digimon. Little bits of your data here and there. Friendship, love, bonds, moments of recollection, to put it bluntly. They are just your memories. I'm thinking we can collect them, reconstruct your mental data, and reinstall that into your body. Like fucking Microsoft Word. It's unprecedented and a little drastic, but for what we want to do, we don't need to adhere to rationality. I've also got a little of your data to provide. <laughs> don't get mad if that data is a little weird. If there's only if there's one thing I'll regret is that you won't be able to enjoy my coffee anymore. It's time for us to say goodbye, Tomashi, my assistant, my companion, my friend. Okay. 
here goes the reinstallation. You will now be the master of your own future. Oh, that was sad. Oh my, they, every time I think that, oh, this is the perfect ending, they throw an even better ending at me. Like, damn, that was so good when all my Digimon on the team were, oh, I almost, I almost teared up there. Honestly, a couple times I actually almost teared up. This game's really cool. I think one thing, and maybe you guys can agree or disagree, but I feel like a, one main difference about Pokemon and Digimon, because you can never really, I feel like you can never really talk about Digimon without talking about Pokemon as a comparison to really, like, explain how they do it better, I guess. I know it feels kind of disingenuous to be like, Digimon, you can't really talk about it unless it's Pokemon related, but with Digimon, I feel like they focus on friendship a lot more and like the bond between Digimon and and Tamer rather than Pokemon like Pokemon it's like they're your friends they fight with you and stuff like that and but like Digimon always to me especially in this game like really made it feel like these Digimon were your friends and they were with you like the long way and damn like I, I love that about this it's a lot about bonds rather than like Pokemon, which is has its own thing that's really good as well, which is trying to be the best that you can be and work hard and achieve goals together with people or with Pokemon and do stuff. But with Digimon, it's like formulating bonds that matter and and doing these bonds like, like going, like, because every, everybody like, you're friends with people, like not every person pretty much has had a friend where you go through stuff like so much shit with them like not as like you've had a lot of fights but like you go like you can think back to your friends and like we've been through a lot of shit together like that's how strong our bond is and like that's how i feel digimon treats digimon and tamer like trainers with each other it's like like you look back at your digimon and you're like fuck we've been through a lot together like we fucking fought royal knights we had to defeat eaters we had to save Digimon together. We had to fight a king. We had to fight essentially like gods. Like, it's wild. I love this game. It's so good. As much as there were some really annoying points in it where I did not know where to go. <laughs> it's really good. And does this mean we can continue the side quests? If you guys want to see the side quests, leave a comment down below. Tell me. But it looks like we're alive. Hey, Jim McKay. Grab him. Am I helping? Am I helping the girl out? Am I helping the waifu out? Damn, he got. Oh, what? Damn, he got away. Sorry, I'm not sketchy. I'm Kyoko Karim. A detective. Oh my god, she's back. I was sick for a while. My instincts are rusty. You have an odd way of drinking. Well, to each their own. It might be really good. I'll try it if I get the chance. Pardon me. I'll be on my way. I hope this doesn't seem rude, but... Maybe... Have we met somewhere before? I feel like I have forgotten something. Something important. I'm actually looking for an assistant right now. Would you like to... Would you think about working with me? The world has a funny way of working out. Ben, hey, GG. That was a, that was good. That was a good ending.